Okay, so welcome back to another video. So here we want to verify the following expression. We have that 2 plus x plus 3x squared plus 4x cubed plus 7x to the 4th plus 11x to the 5th, all the way on so forth, is equal to the following function 2 minus x divided by 1 minus x minus x squared. So this might look a little confusing on how we would approach this, but if you actually pay attention to the coefficients closely, you'll notice that it actually forms a very nice um, sequence. These are what are known as Lucas's numbers. And Lucas's numbers is another way of approaching it like Fibonacci numbers, but except your first two terms of the Lucas number actually starts at a different value compared to the Fibonacci numbers, where Lucas numbers actually starts with 2 and 1 for n equals 0 and n equals 1 respectively. Meanwhile, we have that the Fibonacci starts at n is equal 1 and then um, or that starts at 1 and 1 for n equals 1 and n equals 2 respectively. So we can actually use that approach, but if you notice another thing closely with the increasing of each degree, this is actually in a form of a generating function of a form of power series. So to keep you up to speed, if you're not sure what generating functions are, it's actually a way to encode an infinite sequence of numbers by treating those coefficients into a form of power series. So we actually start with that definition from the left-hand side that verifies that, and we can actually do a little bit of algebra and um, we're, gonna, we're not really going to do a lot of re-indexing just like I did from that generating function of Fibonacci numbers. If you haven't checked that out, I'll leave that link in the description below. But doing so in this case, you can do that if you want, but we're actually going to take more into like a, lower, a little more easier approach where um, we're actually just keeping everything in terms of those like Lucas numbers in terms of the recursive numbers in terms of that definition. So anyways, other than that, let's actually just uh, jump right in with the definition of a Lucas number before we get into the, the meat. So Lucas's num Lucas numbers are defined specifically for the series recursion relation. We have that we have um, two and one, and then of course with the relation that L, L sub n minus one plus L sub n minus two. And this is for, of course, this is n is equal to zero, this is n is equal to one, and then this is n is strictly greater than one. So with that, so with that um, definition defined, we see that this is actually built kind of just like the Fibonacci numbers, where you actually take each of the um, precursor numbers and then add them each one by one. So example we have, for specifically, we have L sub zero, obviously that definition is two, then L sub one is equal to one from that definition. So what is L sub two? So we just take these two numbers, this is is actually going to equal three which is just like that coincides with that then let's start off with l uh, sub three which that's going to be one plus three is four and then we have l sub four which is just three four three plus four which is seven and then l sub five which is just equal to four plus seven which is eleven so on and so forth you'd see how the pattern is um created con created slash constructed so with this let's actually um use this and just do the replacement and put this into a form of a little um infinite sum so right here we're going to start from here so that means the infinite sum from n is equal to zero of the Lucas number and then with the formal power series x to the power n that's the generating function over here so we expand this whole thing out we're going to get that of course this is l sub zero plus l sub one times x plus l sub two times x squared plus l sub three x to the power three and then so on and so forth this is again an infinite sum then if we actually expand this out i'm just going to put this over here so this is so far we're going to have that of course this is actually going to give it as exactly the way it is as we're given so you just fill in the gaps here l sub zero and then with the construction of those you know lucas numbers we created so it's two plus x plus three x squared plus four x cubed plus seven x to the fourth, plus so on and so forth. So now how do we actually approach something like this in order to get to the right hand side of what we want to show? Well, let's actually do some multiplying with the um, infinite sum of the generating function over here. So what I'm gonna do here is we're actually gonna multiply an x and I'm also gonna multiply an x squared to this. So we're gonna keep things separate. So first let's do x times the infinite sum of the generating, you know, Lucas number, L sub n and then x sub n. So just multiply x to everything over here. So we see that this is actually just gonna equal, um, I'm just gonna save the coefficients and just um, not write the coefficients, but rather leave this in terms of, you know, the L sub zero, L sub one of that notation. So here, x times that is gonna give us L sub zero times x plus L sub one times x squared plus L sub two x cubed plus L sub three x to the fourth. Okay, so on and so forth. Well, actually, I'll get to this step later. So let's see, we have x squared. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna multiply x squared to our generating function over here. N is equal to zero. L sub n x to the n and so that will give us L sub 0 x squared plus L sub 1 x cubed plus 
L sub 2, X to the fourth, plus L sub 3, X to the five, and then so on and so forth. I'll label these as equation number one and equation number two. And so that means that we'll actually just um, continue forward and then manipulate the um, algebra using these constructions over here. What we'll do here is I'm gonna take equation number, well, what we'll actually first what I'm gonna do is, so the next step is what I'm gonna do is we're actually gonna take the difference. So I'm gonna take the difference of our given, you know, generating function of the Lucas number, subtract it with the one multiply with X and then subtract it with L square or X square, sorry. And then, of course, I can actually factor all that out since it's a factor of the generating function. So that'll give us one minus x minus x squared, and then multiply by the generating function over here, n is equal zero, l sub n, x sub n. So let's take things one at a time. So I'm actually gonna put this in terms of the parentheses. So first off is one times the infinite sum. So that's basically just this. So we put in the gaps. So l sub zero plus l sub one x plus l sub two x square plus l sub three x to the cube so on and so forth then i'm going to move on to the next line so minus so put in for whatever distribute for x so l sub zero x plus l sub one x square plus l sub two x cube so on and so forth then subtract it with whatever's multiplied with x square so that means we have l sub zero x square plus l sub one x cube plus l sub two uh, x to the fourth, so on and so forth. Everything's in terms of, you know, plus and minuses, so we can actually group things a little easier. So now let me just make some room over here. So what I'm gonna do here is we see that we have just one term of L sub zero on its own. The other ones are actually associated with some, you know, variable. So I'll keep that outside on its own. So next we see is that we have a L sub one X and then another one with L sub zero X. So I'll put that on its own. So we're gonna add this and they're also with the minus distribute over here. So we have uh, L sub one and then minus L sub zero multiplied by X. Then next we take a look at something distributed with X squared. So we have an L sub two, then an L sub one, and then an L sub zero, and then a subtract. Of course, L sub two is just, you know, positive. So here we have L sub two minus L sub one minus L sub zero then multiply with x squared. Next, we look onto x cubed, so L sub three, L sub two, L sub one. So that means L sub three minus L sub two minus L sub one, then x to the power fourth. Then actually you see that this is actually forming a general pattern of the same thing with the difference of associated with these variables. So you'll see that the next pattern we'll have is, and I'm just gonna leave that as the last one and then I continue on so forth. So this one is actually gonna have us with L sub four minus L sub three minus L sub two, and then this is X to the power five, and then so on, so forth. And so what this means is that we can actually use that definition of the uh, Lucas number recurrence relation to see that uh, over here. So what we have for now is this is as, um, this is just on its own, so that's fine. Uh, we're gonna leave it the way it is. Well, actually, L sub one minus L sub zero, I, I take that back, sorry. So we have one and then minus two. So that's actually gonna give us negative one. And then we see that L sub one minus L sub zero, rather if we just factor out the negative, and so that'll just leave us as L sub one plus L sub zero. And so of course that's actually gonna give us over here, this is, um, I'll actually underline with the negative as well. This is gonna give us L sub two. Do the same thing over here, this is L sub three. Uh, over here, this is L sub four. And so what you'll notice is that everything from beyond is actually just gonna cancel the terms out and vanish. So it's zero times the variable. So all that's left really is just L sub zero and then add this with L sub one minus L sub zero times X, which of course we said that's negative one. So it's just L sub zero and then minus X. And then so far we have said that L sub zero is equal to two. So we just plug this back in to say that this is two minus X. Okay, and so therefore this actually gives us the left hand side is the right hand side so far. So this is equal to this. So actually pretty much the last thing to do is just divide the one minus one minus X squared to both sides. And so that'll give us the generating function of the Lucas number is indeed this function. So therefore performing that last step, we have that the generating function, the infinite sum from N is equal zero of L sub N, X sub N, which of course expanding this out is gonna give us what is given two plus X plus three X squared plus four X cubed, so on and so forth, is indeed going to equal two subtract X and then divide it by one minus X minus X squared. And so therefore that actually actually completes the proof just like that um, with a more simpler approach without having to do a lot of you know re-indexing just like I did with the Fibonacci numbers but you know that's another approach you can go with so anyway there's that 
So let me know in the comments if you think of, um, I should cover, you know, just about Lucas numbers as, you know, properties as a whole in general, or even with Fibonacci numbers, you know, whatever works. I'm always down to try new things. So yeah, that's uh, pretty cool if you ask me.